It's actually been quite a tremendous surprise that the turnout from the delegates that have come to see this event and to engage in the ambition that we, we see for Melbourne to recycle all our waste um, so we're not creating and adding to the environmental impact. We've structured it in a way where we've given, we had established yesterday bus tours where we had groups of people on buses viewing sites and viewing use of materials actually in place that we've installed over the last couple of years. Uh, so that was an important introduction. We have a trade hall, we've got 40 odd traders, um, manufacturers, suppliers, researchers here talking to delegates as they work the room. Also running now on the second day is our full conference where we're really, really experienced speakers who can bring international perspective, leading edge perspectives, local perspectives to what the problem is and what we're trying to solve. Victoria is leading way. The Ecologic Initiative uh, was something that we started a couple of years ago uh, at the same time as the Recycle First policy the government introduced. And it really has been a tool that's enabled us to harness all the players to focus on solving the problem of waste, be it just recycling more of the same material, inventing, creating new products and new materials, changing standards and specifications to ensure we can utilise new materials. They're all, all part of solving the problem. We didn't anticipate the number of people that would have the interest to come out and see what we're doing, but it's obviously, it is capturing a nerve. It's, it's supporting the community want, you know, how do we make our products, our projects more sustainable? How do we stop um, putting waste into society? What, what can we do to ensure that this is the best value outcome that the community can get? And, and the, the excitement's just, it's, it's enormous. Look, today's event's been very important for us. It's the, the community engagement we've had with all the stakeholders around the place. I, there is a shared enthusiasm for the people here that we've noticed. And I don't think it's just a, a, an, an event uh, wind-up. I think it, everyone's very enthusiastic and very clear on where we should go. It's taken that enthusiasm away and, 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 and acting on that. And I think we're very close to that. To see that there's a lot of important government people here, there's a lot of the big contractors here, and a lot of the, the manufacturers and suppliers. And that, that sort of is that holistic approach of the buy-in to the sustainable products and the sustainable future. Really speaking from the same page, uh, trying to achieve the same outcomes and learning about each other's solutions and what we can bring and hopefully collaborate to actually achieve some great outcomes. The volume of people that have been coming through and, and the networking has just been amazing. So we've got a crew here from Wholesome and Humes and everyone's enjoying themselves. Yeah, the event has been really wonderful. I mean, partly it's just great to see so many people in a room thinking about the same things and keen to learn from each other. The speakers have been really rich and interesting. And I just think circular economy is an idea that time has come. So it's really building momentum and it's great to be part of that. It's understanding, you know, the environment we're working in. You know, there's a lot of people been working, doing a lot of really good work, but bringing those people together the collaboration and exploring the use of new opportunities for recycled materials is really the joy we're hearing in the discussion today.